Catherine Palmer dedicated her life to improving the paleontological research institution, and a big part of that was improving the collections. But what are collections, and why should you care? Now, if you've gone to a museum, you've probably seen loads of specimens on display, all kinds of things, but that is just the tip of the iceberg, the quill and the porcupine of what a museum really has. Behind the scenes, deep in the catacombs, there are the collections. At PRI, there are over seven million specimens, fossils and modern shells and all kinds of things. But why? Why are they holding on to seven million specimens? Is it because they get immense pleasure out of hoarding things like a dragon with treasure, or mice with cheese, or raccoons with trash? Maybe, but the big reason is because they are dedicated to science. We don't know what the world was like a million years ago, a hundred million years ago, 700 million years ago, but we get closer all the time by creating a big fossil record. The more fossils we have, the more clues we have to answer questions. Questions like, how old was this fossil? How did this creature evolve? What was the Earth like when it was alive? How are these creatures related to each other? And more questions, questions that maybe we haven't even asked yet. Questions that maybe you'll ask when you're a scientist. Now these fossils are collected from all over the world, and that was something Catherine Palmer was really good at. She traveled to Mexico, New Zealand to collect loads and loads of fossils. She mostly collected invertebrate fossils. Invertebrate meaning they didn't have a spine. I'm talking snails, I'm talking shelled creatures mollusks, that kind of thing. And storing fossils is quite a tricky thing in itself. We need to make sure that they're not too hot or too cold. If they're small, they could get smushed. If they're big, is there enough space? Plus, you gotta keep them organized. You have to know what they are. We can't lose them. It's up to collectors to make sure that these fossils are preserved so that all kinds of scientists for a really long time can use them. And for the people taking care of collections, they're like crazy librarians in charge of seven million things. It's very intense. One of the best things about collections to me is that it unites people all over the world. PRI may be in Ithaca, New York, but scientists around the globe write to them asking to borrow fossils from Europe and Asia to improve their research, to answer their questions. And if you're interested in seeing these collections, you don't have to be in Ithaca, New York either. You can go on priweb.org and they've started to digitize some of their critters so you can see 3D models of fossils that you might not get to go look at in person. Oh, also collections don't have to just be fossils. At PRI, collections are living animals, lizards and ferrets. They're feathers, they're journals, they're meteorites, there's gems, there's maps, there's books. All kinds of things that help us understand the history of life on our planet, but also how that research in paleontology was done. If you enjoy paleontology, if you get a kick out of fossils or dinosaur movies or going to museums, just know that all those things you're experiencing are based on collections. Now go out and collect your own fossils and help us improve this vast sea of knowledge that we have. All right, goodbye.